What is up, YouTube? Pink Reaper here. Uh, getting kind of annoyed. Um, I already attempted to record this part. It did not go well. It actually went very poorly, so I'm just redoing it. Uh, on top of that, now there's some something making noise outside. It sounds like someone's playing the fucking drums or something. It's really loud. I'm worried it's going to pick up on the mic. Um, it probably will, honestly. Um, there's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Uh, sort of like I can't do much about the fact that I'm never, ever going to get this trick. Um, is what it is, I guess. Uh, if worse comes to worse, I have a, like, backup save. Uh, but I'd rather not use it, because uh, it's missing, like, 40 points worth of experience. Because uh, I skipped some fights, so... Dude, what is that noise? Like, seriously. Like, who's just banging on a trash can outside? Oh, I got it. Just not fuck this up now, please. Yes! Alright, cool. Aha! That went much better than the last time. Uh, let's not... Let's not miss out on this guy. So... Uh, I just want to show off something cool, uh, something you guys might not know, so check it out. This guy, yeah, he says the same thing as this chick. Yeah, but you've never seen that before. I bet you didn't know that. Also, show off another trick. Nope, 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 nope. like right here no where is it i can never remember this this is such an obscure thing yeah there it is okay so you're probably wondering what just happened um so when you to make this pipe spawn you hit this tree but as it turns out uh there's there's separate hitboxes for trees that can be hit because there's one for being hit with a hammer and one one being hit with Bomet. For some reason, the tree's hitbox for Bomet is over here. Like it's just it's just over here. So that's 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 a thing. It's weird. I don't know why it's there. I don't know why that is. Either way, let's go to uh, let's all go to the lobby. Let's go to um, let's go to to Mount Rugged. I'm not gonna call it Rugged Mountain ever. That's not gonna happen. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, we're on our way to uh, Viridian City. Hear some game sound, shall we? Shoutouts to the train ride that you can't skip. Like, I'm smashing all the buttons and it won't let me skip this. It's the only time. It's the only time. I don't know why, when I was younger, and, like, so when I first played this game, I had no idea what a Chain Chomp was. I don't know why, because I've seen Chain Chomps multiple times before in my life, um, before this. Like, hell, there's one in Mario 64, and I played a ton of that, um, before I, uh, before I played this. But, for some reason, that little Chain Chomp on that screen, it looked like it was, like, charging an energy blast or something in its mouth to me when I was younger? I don't, I don't know. I was, a, I was a dumb kid. What is good, my dude? Oh, well, alright. We'll find your letters, I guess. They really do be like that sometimes. Homeboy lost his letters. If only he knew what he was doing with his life. Like me. That's a joke. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should join the post office. I'll be a, I'll be a mail carrier. Because <laughs> I'm male. Get it? Get it? Get it? Okay, I'm done. Promise. Eh, 
Ah, screw it. I'm no good at that trick anyway, so... Dead. What? Oh. This is not... That's not where I thought it was. Bong. Let's go get some letters. I will say there was one... If there was one thing I... I didn't enjoy in this game, it was the letter delivery chain. Um, having to go talk to like 80 different people to deliver all the letters to get a badge that really wasn't worth it, honestly, in my opinion. Um, it's sort of like the return to sender badge in um, Thousand Year Door. I just don't feel it's worth all the work you have to do to get it. Speaking of badges that aren't worth it, that's actually a very good badge, but you'll never see me use it. What's up, my guy? I just wanted to wake him up. What? I missed! Damn. Well, that was a waste of time. That's fine. I wanted to waste time anyway. That was my plan, just to waste some time. Whee! I just like going on the slides, honestly. Like, I like, you know what? I'm not gonna miss that time, I got a lot closer. <laughs> All right, three letters get. So now that we have the three letters, we can go get we can go get the, uh, the guy. The paracarry. Do you think... Okay, okay, so. The sound, this is gonna sound dumb, but it's not. I promise. Do you think his name is paracarry because he's a carrier? Or do you think he's just a guy named Carry who's also a paratrooper? So he goes by paracarry. Hmm? Yeah. Not as stupid as you thought, huh? Actually, that's just that's kind of fucking stupid. I don't know why I'm mashing this. That should hold D. I got the paracarry. All right, we're leaving. Got everything we need from this chapter. Let's go. Let's head back to the the correct the correct place. No, actually, I'm just leaving so I can go buy a badge. There's a badge I want, and I know where to get it. Toot toot. It's not surprising, but I do think it's odd that there's no, like, option to return to Mount Rugged without leaving the screen. It's because the train is painted facing the wrong way, obviously, but. All right, let's go. Man, I can hear it through my headphones. Oh, never mind, it's not there. I guess we won't be getting this thing. Um, that sound outside, I can still hear it, which is annoying. Um, so in case you're wondering what I'm doing here, you have to go two screens away in order for him to shuffle his um, his inventory, and I'm trying to get a very specific badge. Uh, there it is. There we go. The most important badge to have in the entire game. Speed sting. What's up, Toad? How's life over here? Is it good? I hope so. <laughs> do, do, do. Just going on our way to chapter three again. Do, do, do. Chapter 3, I meant chapter 2. We're on the road to chapter 2. 
We're on the way. We're on the way. Come on. Damn it! I don't want to fight you. Ooh, I really don't want to fight you. This is a, this is a, this is a lost battle. I'm gonna leave now. Goodbye. this up. Ooh, nine. That's really low. That's bad. I actually don't think I can win this fight now. And I missed that one too? Jesus. This is what I get for using the the sound sound cues, which I don't really have right now. This is the displaced audio. I should just turn the game audio like on my TV back up. I lost count. So. Okay, he's dead. I'm 100% certain of it right now. Da 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 da. Da -da 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 -da. Bum -bum -bum. I don't know who you are, so, uh, goodbye. What's up, my guy? I see. Yeah, that does seem pretty lame. You're right. All right, let's go. Let's just leave. Let's, uh, let's not forget this stuff. Why are you screaming, bro? Look, it's a fish. I like fish. Let's eat a fish. Looks good. Fish paste. All right, so now I got a fish, which is important. I'm going to need a fish later. I mean, you can tune a piano, but it's really hard to tune a fish. So I'm glad I've got one. Since we're uh, we're on our way to chapter two, and chapter two is when they introduce the uh, partner power-up blocks, we gotta go. Uh, we gotta get ready to start powering up our partners, right? Chapter two is weird. Like first you go to a mountain, then you go to a jungle. You to a desert, like it's all very strange.
Also, there's these things. These things are really weird. I don't know what the deal with these guys are. What are you doing? Is that your mouth or your nose? Actually, I've never actually known the answer to that question. Because, I mean, this is a series with some prodigious noses. I mean, check out Mario's, obviously. So, like, I, I actually have no idea if that's their nose or their mouth. Also, your feet are weird. At least he knows the art of ground pound. <laughs> he knows... He knows about timed hits. Be careful. Do it, little guys. Especially you. I believe in you. The thing just ran straight up that tree. Also, how do they even fly? They ain't got wings. Hey, that was for me, asshole. Where are you going? Really? I did all the work for that. Come on. Sweet. I got the red orb. My Groudon can evolve into Primal Groudon. So in between the last recording and this part, uh, I have played some of the... Uh, um, what do you call it? Ch Chimera meta? Or Chimera game type on Pokemon Showdown, um, which is a new, um, which is a new game type, um, that, uh, they just introduced basically the way, it, it's an interesting, it's a 1v1 metagame, so the way it works is your first Pokemon is the actual Pokemon that you send out, um, like, cause you get to, you select your Pokemon, you select all six of your Pokemon, and depending on the uh, the order, uh, it, it that's what makes what what you send out. So the first Pokemon you select is the actual Pokemon you send out. So that's the typing essentially. Um, uh, the second Pokemon you select, ha uh, you get its held item. Which honestly, I feel like they could have done this better because, I mean, you might as well just send, keep the held item from the first Pokemon. Like, what's what's the point of the second Pokemon essentially at that point if it's just the item? Um, the third Pokemon is the ability. Uh, so, like, uh, for, um, let's say if your third, po the third Pokemon you choose is Rotom Wash, then the Pokemon you send out will have Levitate, right? The, uh, the fourth Pokemon you choose is the actual base stat total. So, if, like, your fourth Pokemon you send out is is Jirachi, or the fo fourth Pokemon, the fourth Pokemon you choose is Jirachi, your Pokemon will have all base 100 stats, essentially. Um, uh, the... Oh, this, is, this is really not worth trying to do, but I'm going to try it anyway. Alright, I give up. Um... So then the, uh, the fifth Pokemon you choose, uh, it gives you the, the, the two, the, the first two moves of that Pokemon's moveset you get as your first two moves. Um, so again, uh, if say you're, you're, and actually you actually can have all of your Pokemon be the exact same Pokemon, so you can just send out like a regular Jirachi, I guess if you wanted to. But if your fifth, if your fifth Mon is all, is also Jirachi and your first two moves that you choose are say, um... Wish and um, Iron Head. Just say those are the moves you go with. Uh, those would be the moves you actually get. Um, you would get Wish and Iron Head as your two, uh, your first two moves on your Pokemon, and then the sixth Pokemon gives you your last two moves. So if your sixth Pokemon is say, uh, why did I come down here? <laughs> uh, if your sixth Pokemon is say. Uh, 
Let's see, what 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 would be a, a sick Pokemon that it could be? Um Let's go with I don't know, let's go with Latias. You could have Dra Draco Meteor and uh oh wait. Jirachi already gets those moves. Let's make it something Jirachi can't get. If you're <laughs> If your sixth Pokemon is Ho-Oh, you could get, um, you could get, uh, Sacred Fire and Earthquake. Let's go with. So, uh, that was, that was kind of difficult to explain. It's kind of a difficult to explain metagame just in general, but, um, the idea is what the Pokemon you send out doesn't actually matter. Like, the first, first Pokemon you select doesn't matter. It's just typing. So most people choose stuff with, like, really ridiculously good typings. Like, um, you know, you choose, like, Aegislash or um, uh, Magearna to steal fairies a great typing. Stuff like, stuff like that. Um, I, personally, was using a Magikarp. That was what I was sending out, just because I thought it would be funny to fight people with a Magikarp. And as it turns out, it was. Um, I was using a Magikarp with, um, the item was Normalium Z, uh, the ability was, what was the ability? Oh, uh, originally the ability was simple, but it apparently didn't work. Like, I, I don't know what the deal was, but it just didn't work. Um. So the ability was no longer simple. I ended up changing it to... Uh, what did I change it to? I actually don't remember. Uh, oh, 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 I ended up changing it to Fur Coat. Uh, just because Fur Coat is broken. Um, so it was a Magikarp with Fur Coat and Normalium Z. Uh, and then it was Arceus's base stats. Because, of course, like, um, Arceus is, like, the most common choice. The other really common, uh, the other really common things are, um, the other really common ones are, like, uh, Curum White. Because, uh, it has, you know, the monstrous 170 base, um, special attack. Or Regigigas, just because it has really high stats and it's got really good mixed stats. Uh, there's also, um, uh, what else is really common? Um, slacking, because again, slacking has really good stats. Um, and honestly, like, there's a couple other ones, but those are, like, the most common you'd see in it. So mine had RC's stats, and then it had Sacred Fire and Earthquake from Ho-Oh. Um, I just wanted a strong physical fire move that didn't have recoil, uh, and that's what I went with. And I also thought it would just be funny to uh, have a fire-breathing Magikarp. And then uh, its third and fourth moves that it got from Porygon Z were uh, Conversion, and then I've just been sort of, like, moving around the last couple moves. Um, I used... Uh, I used... Um, what do you call it? Uh, Zen Headbutt just for a bit because it was one of like the only physical moves you could get from uh, Porygon Z. Uh, I used Recover. Um, I used like other... I just kind of... At one point I was even using Sharpen just to give it more attack or whatever, right? Um, didn't end up sticking with that. Um, yeah, I just used... I used a lot of weird stuff. Um... Uh, should I, wait, should I try it? That's the real question. I guess I'll try doing it this way. Um, yeah, so, I had, um, like I said, I, I had a Z conversion Magikarp, the idea would be, in, being that it would turn into a, uh, fire type and it would have sacred fire, um, And it would just be really ridiculously strong, and it would be hilarious, and I, I would murder people with Magikarp, and that's actually what I was doing. Um, 
the problem came The problem came about from the fact that Magikarp's typing actually isn't super good. Um, I was getting a bunch of crazy stuff flung at me. Um, I was getting like wood hammers off insanely high attack stats, stuff like that, from things that were too fast for me to Z-convert uh, against. Which sucked. Definitely not going to survive this move. It was fun though, like it was a fun little weird mini game, uh, meta game. I should actually stop by Goomba Village now that I think about it. Also, why did I do this? <laughs> That's the wrong one to go to. <laughs> to Viridian City once again. Oh, wait. I forgot. And there was something else I meant to do. This would be a good place to grab a couple items. Uh, how are we doing on time? 28.50? Oof. No! Don't, don't power him up. Sorry, Gumbario. I don't like you that much. You're just not that useful is the problem, Gumbario. Not like my boy Carrie over here. That's his real name, it's just Carrie. Do I want that? No. No, I do not. You might be wondering to yourself, Pink Reaper, why is this chapter so weird? I don't have an answer for that. I don't know why. Like the weird, the weird mid bosses and the, the locales, I really don't have a reason for, I, I couldn't give you a reason for it, but here it is. Grab some free items real quick. Recovery items are always nice. I'm 
not gonna hit that another hundred times though. I just or ninety times I should say. I just don't care that much. It's just not worth it to me. See, I don't, I don't really know why this, this place is so weird, but it, it is, so, you know, here we are. Oh well, at least all the enemies are really weak. Like, this would be a lot harder if the enemies were strong, but luckily they're really weak. Like, honestly, I don't know what's up with these weird... These, this weird, like, pseudo-protection for the, uh... Pseudo-protection for the, uh... Why did I... <laughs> why am I even doing that? The starfish. fight these? Not really. I don't have a reason to. They're just minding their own business. They just live here. Like, I don't know why Mario's got to be an a-hole and kill them. Now this guy, this guy, I totally understand why Mario's got to be an a-hole and kill him. He's rude. Mean teeth on them too. Look at those chompers. Ooh, free free items. Always like free items. Free items are always good. Look, I already have a key. No, I miss. No, I miss. All right. Let's try that again. And let's not do that. That item is not useful to me, and I don't want it. This item, however, is very useful to me. I mean, as a let's player, I absolutely have to upgrade all of my all of my teammates. That's just the thing. I'm kind of long on time. I need to find a save block. Man, why is all the why are all the guards here so weak, honestly? Oh well. All that matters is they're dying. They're so. giving me money. Free money always nice. Head over this way, try not to have a buzzy beetle fall on our head, which it probably will, let's be real. Oh god, that one didn't fall on my head. It just fell on my face. I'd rather not fight a swoobat either. Oh right, I forgot. I forgot about that. This is gonna be problematic. Can't go that way. Let's go this way. Mm, no 
keep. Shouldn't have wasted the ones I had. Oh no, it got me! I've been chomped. Nice. Man, these guys are weak. There's some terrible defenses here. Well, I got all three pieces, but unfortunately there's literally no way for me to know where to put them. And also, I can't put them anywhere. Let's go down here and see what's down here. What? There's nothing. I see. So that means... <gasps> the boss fled and the starfish is safe. Awesome. Good job, Mario. You saved the day. Well, since we did that, that means we don't have to fight the boss. That means Chapter 2 is done. On the next part, we'll be heading to Chapter 3. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been Pink Reaper, signing out.